Hello and welcome to Yesteryear's Mac Games, or perhaps in this instance, Yesteryear's Computer Games, as the spotlight today falls on a game that is best known for being on Windows. There is a Mac port, it's more or less identical, and we'll be focusing on this, because my ThinkPad has a bizarre video out port that I can't capture from. Now heads up, this is a puzzle game, so in order to have something to show, I've captured me solving them so there's obviously going to be solution spoilers for the duration. Diving right in then, 1992's Kai runs natively on Windows 3 up to XP and Mac OS 6 through 9. There are some modern interpretations, like Xi or Python Kai, that can be played on modern systems, but this video is about version 2 of the original game. As a small child, I discovered and played Kai on this very ThinkPad, the 760ED was a typical business notebook of the time. The most interesting thing about this laptop is that the battery is old enough to drink in the US and can still hold an hour long charge. Black freaking magic that is, very impressive. Anyway, Kai is a neat little puzzle game by Colin Garbutt, who named it after his dog. You control a little green, um, Kai I suppose, in its quest to collect all the diamonds on the screen. No fancy controls just up, down, left and right to move about, but the levels have plenty going on, so it's not as simple as it seems. The built-in stock levels have a straightforward and logical difficulty curve. This is the first, and there isn't really a puzzle here, just your first sight of all the bits and pieces you can expect to encounter further into the game. Here's the second then. You're dealing with a number of small puzzles, all involving sliders. Sliders pelt forward in the direction indicated by their arrow, so removing the block in front of them will cause a build-up like this to spew forth until they reach the next solid object. The round ones differ from their square equivalents in so much that they can roll around corners. Across the playing field are diamonds, which are the game's objective. Each of these diamonds need to be tackled in the right order, as you can trap yourself, should a group of sliders block your exit. Newcomers to a level will most likely restart this numerous times, as there's a chunk of trial and error involved. The entire screen is quite often interconnected in some way, so while it may look like a series of separate tasks, quite often this isn't the case. Solving them in the wrong order could have adverse effects that necessitate a restart. It's not just sliders to contend with, there are a bunch of different types of monsters that you will encounter. You'll see them all in stage 4. Depending on the puzzle, you'll need to run away fast, block them in, trap them with an item, or disregard them completely. These kill on contact, so avoid at all costs. The exception is the bouncer, which moves horizontally or vertically, pushing whatever's in front of it. You'll often be racing these things to achieve something, as they have a tendency of sealing in diamonds. 15 levels come in the base game, but it also came with a level editor, enabling you to make new ones. You could also make them in a text editor, I can't imagine why you would, however you'll need one anyway if you're using a Mac to delete the first junk character of every line of any additional levels that you download. Here's what happens if you leave them in, you'll get a jumbled mess, completely unplayable. Let's have a quick look at some stages, standard and custom, that I liked, or at least thought were notable. This one for instance is a raceway disrupt the flow and the bouncer shoves a slider into the hole with the diamond. This one requires you to push a big wall of blocks back to trap a bunch of monsters. This one has an entire garrison of monsters that you have to work around. I had to die and respawn to complete it. I'm not sure if that was how I was supposed to do it. This one was a pain in the ass. And this one here necessitates you to sort out the monsters out into the right compartments, and I have no idea how this works. The gaps they need to get through are the same shape, so Sod knows what's stopping the monsters from getting through the ones after their section. And there are plenty more that I haven't played that are probably quite good too. I've popped a link from where I got them from in the description. Much like Mario Maker levels, they range from the well crafted and enjoyably challenging to stupidly impossible. This one here is just chaos. Kai is readily available to download and play. You can find Kai on a whole host of abandonware sites, and a couple of others that are dedicated to the game. I've uploaded the Mac version to Macintosh Garden, so you can find that there, and the Windows version can be found with the bonus level sets at kai.me.uk. So by all means jump in, 
and do let me know if you had a favourite stage. If you don't fancy giving the game a shot now, why not check out some of my other videos in the meantime? I cover lesser heard of titles from years gone by that still hold up and are great fun to play to this day. Subscribing will ensure that you never miss a future instalment, so that receives a hearty recommendation too. So see you next time, and thanks for tuning in.